Hello, hello. <laughs> hey, same background as teacher Indra. Are we at the same place? <laughs> oh, yes. Beautiful, right? San Francisco. Yeah, man. All right. So, children, how have you been? All right. This is uh, Ben Ong, your math teacher. <laughs> okay. Uh, I believe all of you can see the uh, screen in front of you, right? So, this is our P6 exam tips for mathematics part two. Okay. Okay, uh, once again, the same thing, uh, my practice is that if you have any question, you can drop into the chat. All right, if I can see your chat fast enough, as you know, like, I'm a guy, cannot multitask that well like teacher Indra. All right, I will try to answer your question as best as I can. Is that okay? Okay, huh? okay here goes. So, um, I believe that you already uh, participated in the exam tips, the part one. All right. So I believe you <laughs> uh you know what I'm going to say right. Huh, cha, you mean you're going to say the same thing uh? um um how ah? Uh? <laughs> okay, come. Let's go and talk about your exam tips for today. Come. Ah! Oh, 13 more days. Dun, 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 it's what? 13 more days to your math PSLE paper, right? 12 more days to your English lah, huh? All right. So the 1st of October will be your English. The second October will be your math. Okay. Yep. So 13 more days is less than two weeks. So exciting, right? You should feel the excitement. Uh. Remember what I say? All right. So within less than, let's say within less than 20 days, right? You will be free. All right. You will have a long, uh, you long, uh, you have a long holiday. All right. Until you go to your uh, set one, uh, secondary school and all this. Nah. So these 13 days to about 17 days, all right, put in all your best, all right, all the effort have to go into these few days. Cool? Can ah? All right. So uh, I just want to tell you that um, in terms of your paper one, right, I did say many times already, all right, I know I sound naggy, ah, all right, your paper one is the most important paper, I feel, lah, huh? So try to score what? Right? Try to score at least what? Right, 45 marks, ah. very good. I like your attitude. Okay, if you can, the average right you can go is probably from at least a uh, forty lah. Cannot <laughs> forty is still very high. I know, I know. But this is the best paper to score in your examination. Really, trust me, can do it one. Okay, once you can score a forty, uh, are you passing? Passing sure looks easy. Passing. passing sure looks easy for your paper two already. Can and for paper two, if you can get between a thirty-five marks to a forty-five marks, right, that would be superly good already. Okay, imagine if you get the lowest tier, 35, plus just 40. Hey, that's a 75 marks, right? That is not bad already. That's not bad already. Right? If you can get the higher tier, about 45, plus your 40, that's a 85 marks. That's a A. Isn't that better? Yeah? All right, so it's possible. It is really possible. Can? All right. Just want you to know uh, that um, all these slides has been given to you, and I explained point by point already. All right, uh, to, to you. Uh, just want you to know where to find the, the exam tips one. Okay, so I will actually look it from here. Can I, can you see this? Yeah, so uh, yeah, I need to teach some of you how to use your dashboard. Some of you are really, uh, <laughs> don't know what to do, right? Okay, so you can see this dashboard. Cool. All right, so you can actually click on your dashboard. Uh, look for the revision package and you can scroll down. All right, so the math lesson, like whole numbers and all this, I believe you have went through all this lesson, science, like English, and even uh, the mother tongue Chinese. All right, so where do you find the math tips and tricks? There, down here, you see? Can you see the mouse? So you click on the mathematics tips and tricks and you click on the play button. Then you see doo -doo 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 -doo, me coming out again to talk about the exam tips. That is part one. All right, part one. And down here, you have the class notes. Yes, you can click on the class notes. And down here, you can actually uh, download the class notes. You can even print it out if you want to. Okay? This is just to show you where to find your uh, exam tips. Nah. Okay? This recording right, will also appear in one of these tabs here in future. So this is your mathematics tricks. Right? So after that, right, after the PSLE Mock 2 Mathematics, there will be three more parts, the science, the English, and the math tips and tricks part two. Is that okay? All right, so at least show you where to find us. Uh, then you got no excuse saying that, hey, sure, uh, where, where, where to find this, where to find that? Uh? So now you know where to find. Cool? Okay, so I'm not going to repeat too much about, you know, um, all these rules, regulation, and what you need. Just want to uh, highlight to you some of the more important thing, which is what uh, I tell you now. Uh. So the first thing first, uh, down here, the most important thing is to what? This one, uh, I feel. 
is to stay calm and do not panic. All right, panic, ah, panic. So because once you start to panic, right, ah, your your brain, right, will start to uh think many, you know, uh, your your brain will not start to connect well. All right, when it start when it do not connect well, what will happen? Yes, you will start to worry a lot. So when you start to worry a lot, what happen? Oh my goodness! All right, then you start to perspire la. Yeah, cold sweat la, sure. Yeah, so all this right, you have to learn to stay calm and remember the breathing exercise I told you. All right, deep breath through your nose, then output through your mouth. So you count two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Deep breath through your nose again. Two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. All right. So you stay calm. After that, once you receive the paper, yes, do not panic again. Follow your teacher's instruction and really attempt the question calmly. You are fully prepared. You are fully ready for the paper. So nothing can frighten you really. All right. You have practiced so much. I believe already. Okay. So over these six years, you have done very well. Keep pushing yourself. Keep your mindset positive. All will be great. Okay. Okay, so the next I want to talk a little bit about is this one. Or, uh, eh, eh, do you see the word or? Uh, all questions must be done. Uh, all right, all questions must be done. You know you don't know, you still write something. I don't care. Can? Especially for the paper one, right? The bullet A, bullet B, that one MCQ and some of the short answer question. All right, if you know, Make sure you write the correct answer. Don't have the copy error. If you don't know, at least write something. All right, MCQs you can choose right A, B, C, D. You just choose one. Choose the more possible answer. All right, use your MCQ technique to screen out the not possible one and try to make your chances of getting answer correct higher. Can and your short answer at least do something. Write a answer even though if you don't know. For the long answer question, the paper two right. If you really don't know that question right, chill, chill. If it's a four mark or the five marks, don't worry. At least you still do something, all right? So maybe they give you a, a diagram of the circle and a diagram of a square. Do what? Ah, yeah. Just find the area of the circle. Just find the area of the square first. Write some working. You never know that your teacher will give you a mark here, a mark there. Eh? From the five marks, you can get two marks. Not bad. Even though you don't know how to do, you still can get two marks. Why not, right? So this type of big mark question, right? Four mark, five marks, right? The working, right? Your teacher will according. One. So don't worry about it so much. When you can do something, just do something. Can okay? use your what? Ah, something called the KPO method. Remember, I taught you this. Yes, using your own initiative, you have to constantly find out all the additional clues. Right, find out as many clues as possible. For example, the the question said, uh, there are forty uh, students in the class and there are fifteen girls. Ah, yeah, use your KPO. Go and find what. Boys lah, 40 minus 15, oh, there are 25 boys lah. You know, use your own initiative to find out extra information. And all this, right, as I say, you never know. Your teacher might give you one mark here, one mark there. So out of four marks, you get two marks. Okay, thank you, teacher. Out of five marks, you can get three marks. Thank you, teacher. Can you see or not? All right. So all questions must be done no matter what. Please remember that. And also check and check your answer. All right. Can you see the double check? Yes lah. Must check and check your answer. Okay. Uh, will they give the PSLE paper in class? Uh, depending on your exam, right? Some of the school, maybe they do it in the examination hall, all right, in the hall, or sometimes they might do it in the, you know, classroom. So it really depends. I hope that is what you are actually asking. All right, so this, right, as I say, has been covered already. I'm going through everything. Oh, hey, I think this is the next most important thing, the health. Alright, hey, just to let you know, right? Just to let you know, honestly, uh, honestly, alright, I'm now having a swollen leg. Oh, I feel terrible. Alright, every step I walk, right, it hurts, you know. There's this, uh, there's this, this pain that is hurting my, my right ankle now. Alright, it has been on for the last two days and it feels terrible. Even though today, you know, I'm going to see you for the last time. No, not, 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 not that, that way, All right? But I feel good. But the thing is, ah, because of the pain in my leg, really, All right? So I got this swollen leg and every step I take, I think it's like some old man walking, you know, people laughing at me, but I still cannot say anything. All right, this is the truth, but just to let you know. All right? So, uh, so every time, right, every time I want to do something, all right, I must be at my perfect condition. That would be the, the best, all right? So I will, I will want to say that your health is superly important. Superly, got such word or not? Oh, no. 
don't tell teacher Indra. Alright, so it's superly important. So from now to day, like day 15 or day 17, right, after your PSLE, right, these few days, please keep yourself healthy. Alright, don't go and uh don't go and do a rigorous exercise like you know, uh play certain game that will hurt yourself. Ah, don't do that. Come on. Protect yourself, keep yourself healthy, okay? And don't go and like me like that, have some swollen leg and all this. Yeah, man. It feels terrible, honestly. It feels painful right now. Alright, I'm eating some painkiller to to mask the, the pain away. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Somebody say, oh yeah, don't, don't say that. Okay, okay. so down here, please, your health uh, is very important. Health check, okay, stay healthy. If you are taking some vitamins, please continue to take some vitamin. Uh, all right. Oh, down here, the next, being a sleep of nine hours at minimum, cannot. Alright, so you know that your paper tomorrow, right, is let's say at 8 o'clock, then you maybe you come back 9 hours, uh, best sleep, right, is, is a very uh, good advantage on you. Last night, I didn't sleep well. Two nights ago, I also never sleep well. Why? Because of the pain. So the pain is actually waking me up in the middle of the night. Alright, so I, will, I do not have any, you know, I do not have a perfect sleep. Once I do not have a perfect sleep, I tell you, oh, the feeling, right, the, the feeling in the morning it, it is terrible. Alright, it is terrible. Alright, so for you, please, if you are in a perfect condition, have your nine hours of sleep. Make sure you wake up early in the morning and you feel what you feel refreshed. Yes, yes. Today's PSLE day one. Good. Alright, you must feel good. So once the energy is a positive, you feel good energy. I tell you, when you attempt the paper, right, you will feel so what? You will feel so happy. Alright, and I did tell you before, you are, you are supposed to do the paper happily. Alright, and because every question you have seen them before already. Alright, so all you got to do is to make sure that you get the right answer. Alright, do it carefully and make sure you check your work and make sure that it is correct. Okay? And you should be doing laughing. <laughs> I know this. I know this. <laughs> yes, I know. Because we have prepared you more than enough, really. Okay? The, pa the paper is not going to be that difficult. Huh? Alright? At least about 70 to 75% of paper can do one. Alright? So you must at least get the 70%. Cool? Okay, and again, no playing with handphone one hour before sleeping. Can you see? Is it cold sweat again? Because of the pain. Lah. Yeah. Anyway, no playing with handphone one hour before sleeping. Hey, this one is very important. So because all this, you know, gaming, you know, you want to play the handphone, look at a little bit of the social media site and all this. Ah, all this little excitement actually, uh, it, it kind of disturbs your uh, sleep uh, in the next hour or so. One. All right. So if you can put down your phone, Rest your mind for about one hour. Chillax a bit. Chillax. Oh no. Got such words or not. Then after that, go and sleep. Okay? So you have this uh, routine and I tell you, when you wake up early in the morning, you feel so refreshed and you feel so good. You feel so powerful. Cool? Okay. Okay. So moving on, right? Down here. Remember this? Yep. So remember, I told you there are four cheat sheets. Cheat sheets, huh? Alright. Ah, the previous exam tips, right? I only gave two. The previous exam I only gave to. Uh -huh, you know why or not? <laughs> so that I got something to say in this lesson. Uh, duh. If I give you everything then, you know, I feel that this lesson, uh, nothing much to say. What? <laughs> so out of four cheat sheets, I already given you two. So today we'll be doing another two more cheat sheets. And seven, NTK. What's NTK? Need to know questions. Alright. The previous exam tips and tricks, right? I given you five need to know questions really. Basically the angles. The number patterns, the grouping in sets, the working backwards, and the overlapping figures. Yes, go and check those out. All right, in your dashboard on the video if you haven't seen it. All right, so I've covered those very five uh, important questions already. And today we'll be covering another two more. One is called the discount double up, the other one is called the ratio. Everything changed. Okay, all right, so the main part of the lesson will be on these two parts the cheat sheet and also the two need to know questions. Can? Okay? Alright, so these questions are the questions that I suspect. Like, highly chances of it coming out. Right? So if you can understand them, right, then you will again get the advantage of what? Get the advantage of being able to attempt that question and your other friends cannot do. So once you can have this additional advantage, what happen? Bam! Again, you'll be able to score a little bit more than others and yes, you'll be able to you know, uh, go to the school that you want and so on. Is that okay?
All right.